Well, hello and welcome to what amounts to football heaven. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. The conditions are utopian. The sky is blue and the players are with us for a football match so widely and keenly anticipated. Truly, this is pristine and the uh, level of expectation and excitement is reflected in the smiling faces of the crowd. They know it means so much and they also experience between them a great sense of privilege at uh, being able to attend this most special of games. The Emirates Stadium in all its glorious modernity, this symbol of new Arsenal, the Arsenal of the 21st century. This is the perfect game for all parties, not least the neutrals who've just come to enjoy it. Well, get ready for some high-grade football, Peter. Two strong teams, as you say, full of wonderful individual talent. And we have every right to anticipate some really entertaining football. As to whether we'll see a high-scoring contest, that's a little harder to predict. I'm not complaining, though, because there are good players everywhere you look around this surface, and that's a fine start in itself. And we're underway. Jim, who do you reckon is pivotal? Yeah, Nicholas Otamendi. He's a, a fine defender, both in the air and on the ground, and a, a real tough competitor who, who loves a physical duel. He knows how to pick out a pass too, and he'd be looking to get his team moving forward as soon as any opposition attack breaks down. He often likes to step into midfield. Yes, he'd be my pick too. It's going to be all about how they get the best out of him. It's a very good battle there, terrific to watch. He gets past his man. David Luiz simply had to make that count, and he did it with some authority too. Wonderful. And he's made sure that that won't get through. Talia Fico. Loses his balance and loses the ball. And here's Lacazette. It's Ozil! This could fall anywhere. Interference and very necessary. Mesut Ozil has a pop! A collective sigh of relief from the defence. It's Ozil, Hector Bellerin. Messi, Aguero, shapes to shoot. Oh, that is very close. Yeah, the shot was enabled, Peter, due to such smart control and technique. Aubameyang. Aubameyang takes a look up. Going through. That has sent him sprawling. Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. It's Ozil. Could be a chance here. Yeah, that's top defending in preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Talia Fico. 
Lo Celso. Still goalless at the moment. Foyt, and it's played forward. Oh, good interception. And here's Lacazette. Hector Bellerin. He's left his man. It's one! Looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Hostel break the deadlock. Still a fragile lead, though. They can't afford to sit on this. Get a throw in. Messi. Paredes. Hoists it forward. Messi provides an outlet. And a shot! It's off target and by quite a way. Luis goes looking. It's a Babia. Ganduzi. Hardly anything between the sides. And the score is 1 0. Tries a shot! Oh, the ball's come loose, and they've been caught out here. Goes for goal! Never going to miss from there. So much to aim at. Yeah, and all engineered, Peter, by some smart running and movement. That's already something to admire. But how about the pass? Just wonderful. Loved it. Hostel have a couple of goals without reply, it's 2 0. Well, they're very much the better team at the moment, Peter, and, and no doubt will be looking to, to cause even more damage here. Forward it goes. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Merfel plays it out to the flank. He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be out-muscled. Has a hit! Yes! Hot knife through butter! They have done it again! Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front. And they really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled. Hostel take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. No doubt as to who has the momentum here now. The only doubt is how many is coming. Foyt. Di Maria looks to get on the end of this. Aubameyang. Good running with the ball. Can they build on it? 
Oh, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Well, I think the alternative was to stand there and, and do nothing while he, he tried to score. And obviously, he's not going to allow that, Peter, is he? And this is the perfect opportunity to create a cushion between the sides. He's shaping up to have a crack from here. He's gone for it. And the ball's come out. The ball's loose, and he's after it. Has a hit! And he should have made it for... Quick thinking and quick control, Peter. That creates a, a little more working space. Tries to get it forward quickly. So Socrates concedes a free kick for that. Now it's met. Oh, shooting chance! He's kicked it out just. Lovely control. He made it stick with an excellent touch. Messi with the short one. Gets wrestled off the ball. And we've reached half time. Well, there's plenty that can be said about the last 45 minutes, but one thing that cannot be said is that it's dull. One sided, yes, but packed with excitement. Peter, do I really need to say anything, or can I simply refer you to the scoreline? Arsenal. Clean it up at the break, precisely as they would have dreamt it. So we're just settling back into this second half. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Paredes has given away a free kick. Di Maria with good energy in defence as well. You have to admire commitment like that, because he could easily ignore that and just kind of walk around and let others do all the chasing, but instead, he looks as if he relishes the chance to, uh, to dig in for his team here. It's a fabulous position. Has a pop! Cooper's not concerned by that. Aguero needed to come up with a better ball. Oh, that just required a bit more oomph to reach its target. Now it's Obamia. Paredes. Paredes drives it forward. And he's looking at the referee, but the referee is shaking his head. Foyt goes looking. And the assistant referee has his flag raised for offside. Kolasinac. It's Ozil. Lobs it in gently. He's in! Shapes to shoot! Lacking in accuracy. Well, the control on receipt was far better than the control on dispatch. Whistle's gone, that's a uh, foul. Well, he can't say now that he hasn't been warned. Well, he knew what he was taking on there, Peter, and special delivery from the ref. Oh, that's clearly not what he wanted to do. Talk about singling someone out. Yeah, and they've got to be careful, Peter, that they don't allow their attempt to snuff out the threat now to turn into indiscipline. Nothing wrong with that tackle. Ball won cleanly. The shot! Goal! 
Argentina are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. So, just the consolation, or is there a way back from here? Obama Yang. Lovely bit of skill there. Aguero doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Forward it goes. Otamendi plays it forward. More than happy to take the muscular approach. Brought forward. What does he try from here? Oh, that's a foul in a dangerous area. Well, it was deliberate, it was cynical, and you have to understand the frustration of, of being denied a clear opportunity, but it had to be done. Arsenal looking to widen the gap even further here. It's an Arsenal free kick. He's gone to Rex. Good try. The outcome could so easily have been different. A more than decent attempt, Peter. Hoist it forward. Now oh, they can break here. Mesut Ozil. And here's Lacazette. And he heaves it forward. It's gone out of play. Genduzzi. Out to the right. It's a promising run he's making on the right. Hector Bellerin. Oh, he's brought him down, and it is a penalty. So a big, big chance now from 12 yards. And he is going into that little black book. A lot of furious gesticulation but it is never going to make the referee overturn a decision. Yeah, well, they were exposed and, and vulnerable, and he knew he had to do something to prevent a goal then. Armani, in the context of the game, he must save it. Time for a cool head, and that is precisely what he showed. Yeah, and he smashed it right down the middle. It was just as well the keeper didn't hold his position. He's made it three. Quite a day at the office for him. That defence must be sick of the sight of him. He's been persistent and ruthless all game. He just hasn't stopped working. Difference is three. Tries to get it forward quickly. Messi. Tried to play it through. Uh, was too timid to make it through the defence. It'll be noted and Aguero! A real chance and a real let off. Well, he did get himself into a good position, something for him to cling to.
good challenge, he just stood firm. He's in space and looking for options. Yeah, that does look a foul, referee's given a free kick. Keeper's ball. Kolasinac. And here's Aubameyang. And it's played forward. And here's Aguero. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal, and he didn't go for the back heel. Ursel plays it forward, and it's Paredes. Aubameyang absolutely focused then on the defensive side of his game. I think it's great to see that kind of application and desire from the forward who wants to help out his defence. I, I think, you know, any good team, really, your striker should be the first line of that defence, and, and he's delivering. Oh, damn it! Going for goal! Outstanding save to keep that out. Oh, smart save. And it's Kolasinac. Kolasinac gets flagged offside. Point. Paredes. Added time is up, and there goes the whistle. Hostile, comfortable winners. A virtuoso display, utterly one-sided. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? Yeah, they had a game plan which was about hammering away in central positions, and it paid off. For me, they were persistent and ruthless.